the European Union is treated as essentially a instrument of US power and NATO is the United States Trojan horse in Europe. That's effectively what it is. The United States began to put pressure on, um, on, on the whole of Europe and parts of Asia to basically capitulate to its understanding of the world. Um, this was fine, Brian, up to uh, around 2007. In fact, Mr. Putin was also eager for integration with Europe and the West in the first several years of his presidency. 2007, after the world financial crisis, I think a really different orientation uh, came there in Moscow. They began to understand that the United States was not that keen uh, on integrating Russia on an equal footing. And I must say, the spur for the Ukraine um, war now was not just in 2014. It's when Trump unilaterally withdrew from the Intermediate Nuclear Missile Treaty, the INF, in 2018. That was the spur because it suggested to the government in Russia that the United States was interested in placing intermediate nuclear missiles very close to the border of Russia, and those missiles would be able to strike um, you know, important cities in Russia without Russia being able to defend uh, against their arrival. And I think that was really, that was a game changer for Moscow, and it accelerated this conflict.